I'm here at Outcome and Golf Club with Johnny from J.A. Boca. He's just going to talk us through some top tips when it comes to storing away your machines for the winter. Hey, all right, everyone. Now, um, this is a machine I've got in. It's a Ransom Super Bowl uh, 51. This uh, is just started uh, being dismantled, for, ready for its winter service. It's going to be reground. It's going to have new bearings, etc. But what I'm going to do, uh, even though it's in bits, I don't suggest that you take it to bits like this yourselves or anything like that, unless you you particularly want to. It's, um, I'm just going to take the opportunity while all the guards are off now to show you where to clean uh, and what to do really. If you're going to either store your machine over winter ready for the service the next year or if you choose not to have it service ready for the next cutting season. So it's really a lot of it's to do with cleaning. A lot of it's to do with cleaning it, lubricating it and keeping it dry. You'll, you'll have guards on covering all your drivetrain, whether it's belt driven or chain driven. So you need, you need to get them guards off because you'll find a lot of grass will build up inside your guards. It'll be clogging up all your sprockets or your pulleys or your belts, etc. So you've got to take these guards off, uh, particularly guards on the top. A lot of mowers will have a, either a centrifugal clutch or, you know, this one's got a, an ordinary clutch here. Um, Again, you, you, you'll have a drive shaft somewhere up top here. This will get clogged up with grass. Um, the, the last thing you want it doing is, is getting damp over winter. And because um, it, it turns very acidic, you, you'll soon rot all this metal on top of here and you, you can do damage. So it's paramount. You, you get all your guards off, uh, side and top, etc. cetera. Um, deflector plates. Uh, these are the plates that go behind here and they throw uh, the grass into the grass box. Again, take them out on this machine. It's held in with two little bolts at the front. It's not a big job. Take it out because grass gets behind them. Um, and really, to be fair, you can do a lot of it with a scraper. If you're lucky enough to have an airline or um, something like that, then you can blow it off, which is great. Uh, but a brush and a scraper, you can, you can do it just fine. Um, so you, you wanna brush all the grass out of here. And again, it's keeping it dry. Uh, last thing you wanna do is jet wash them and put them away damp because they'll just uh, it'll just cause damage. Uh, you'll get water ingress into your bearings, etc. Um, you can jet wash them. You know, uh, it's not something I recommend unless you are really going to strip it down and make sure everything is is absolutely dry and greased up again. Because um, the last thing you want to do is get water in these bearings, and etc. etc. You can see this one. This has been left. Uh, the bed knife has gone rusty. The uh, cylinder's gone rusty. Um, and that, that's the last thing you want really because what you end up with is pitting and you'll never get it on cut again if you choose not to have it reground for the next season uh, you'll, you'll, you'll not get that back on cut properly without the cylinder being tight on and if the cylinder's tight against the bottom blade then it, it just does damage to everything so yeah, um, clean and dry everything um, before you put your guards back on now regarding your engine um, again, you want to check your air filter same pre-start check so as we've shown you uh, in a previous video, again, if you choose not to have it serviced, um, you want to make sure your air filter's clean. Um, and you really, um, you want to, if you're storing it in the damp shed, etc., you want to make sure your fuel tank is full to the brim. Petrol will last a couple of months without going off, without a problem, uh, as long as you keep, you know, starting your engine up, etc. But what this will do is if you fill this tank up to the brim, because this is a tin tank, if you, if you only have a quarter of a tank of petrol in there, you're left with damp air inside there and it'll take in the damp air from outside through the breather and it'll cond condensate inside there and what you'll get then is water droplets in the bottom which will inevitably go through to your carburetor and they'll stop your machine running. They, um, you don't take a drop or two and it'll, it'll completely stop your machine from running. So yeah, keep, keep that full of fuel. Um, again, always keep your tank filtering when you're filling them up. If you've got one, if not, use a filtered funnel. Um, just stop anyone from getting in there. Um, again, you can drain the carburetor off this carburetor. You, like, you know, if you turn your fuel tap off, this carburetor has got a drain on it here. Uh, you can drain that if you like. Um, it just depends whether you want to keep it running or not. But if you're not going to go and start it up, um, fill your fuel tank up and drain your carburetor off. But just make sure your fuel tap's turned off so it doesn't fill back up again. Uh, check your engine oil and stuff like that. Again, all the stuff. We're showing you on the pre-start checks just to check that everything's everything's right. But it's mainly 
greasing it up, making everything, making sure everything's clean and dry, um, and then that way, when it come, either comes in for its service or you come to it the next year, you know that it's clean and it's right. Um, regarding the cylinder, etc., if you've not got, again, like I say, an airline or anything like that, a scraper, any grass that you get on here, scrape it off. I mean, like I say, this is this is in for its service. All this will be repainted. But you want to scrape any grass off the. You want to scrape any grass off your leading edges of your knives, just like so. Um, off your bottom blade, because uh, you, you you can sometimes get grass under here. And it, again, it just sets hard, and it, it'll it'll just do damage. It'll just rot. You can see here it's got rust patches all on the bottom blade. Um, and again, just a, a nice light oil, the WD-40. Uh, spray it on all the cylinder knives and on the bed knife, and it'll just keep them shiny. It'll just repel that water. Uh, just to stop them, you know, stop them rusting really. So then you should be able to get them back on cut nicely. Um, just make sure that the cylinder and bottom blade aren't touching, uh, then no rust or moisture settles in between because what you get then, um, it'll, it'll trap. Uh, the rust will, will grow in between where the contact point is and it'll, uh, it'll be stiff there. So separate them, give them plenty of oil, um, like I say, I'm not suggesting that you take these out. You can do this when it's in the machine, just as long as everything behind it's clean, etc. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just keeping it clean and dry, really. So that's, that's about it. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny.